Hi everyone, welcome to Clan Woody Junction. Uh, just doing a, a quick update for you to what I've been doing over the last um, month or so. Um, I finished uh, the area just there, uh, the marketplace. A bit of detail on there. I'm going to go start with that section next, which is going to be all trees um, and a little path to the uh, mobile foam mast. Um, and then I'm going to start on the um, the depot just here. Move things around a little bit there. I'm going to sort out that in the next few weeks. Um, a bit of detail on the walls just there. But my main thing that I've been doing is the station. Uh, I've completed most of the station now, uh, which I think looks quite good. Um, basically, just on the platforms, on the main platforms just here, I've used um, just some 17mm um, by 18mm high uh, piece of wood, uh, which seems to be just about the right size to put the Pico edging on. I've got the concrete um, edging just there, but I've also got some brick which I've used. Um, I matched it in with what's on the wall just here which is quite good it's i got it from um off an ebay uh, i got nine a4 size sheets um for about seven pound including postage which want to but it's quite nice it's quite textured as well and quite well detailed so I'm quite pleased with that um i've had another platform in there so i've got now i've got platform five uh which goes underneath and round you can see it goes all the way around to the corner just there. Um, I've got quite a bit of detail underneath as well. Um, I haven't just left it where it is, so that's where the station is there. I'm going to do build a section out just there so it fits in better. Um, so it looks like when you're going up the escalators underneath, uh, you actually go somewhere. All this is all going to be removable, so it's easy to get to and clean. But yeah, I've um, done a bit of detail underneath. Uh, the signs in there, the bins. Um, done all the ballasting now for the station and weather the track. I've uh, got the people on there. So I think that looks alright, does that. I'm going to put some lights on this section underneath. Um, not too bright, because I don't want you to be able to see right into it. Um, but that should be just highlight it a little bit. I've just got some finishing, a bit more detailing to do. Um, I want to put some um, some old lines in, uh, pieces of rail, and some um, litter and some sleepers. Um, I've got some signs. I've got the HST signs just here, which all needs fixing. And plus, I've got some speed signs which all need to go on. Um, and I've got some. Um, point motor heaters um, I think I may put a, a few of them all together just there with a fence round um, done the bins I painted the bins in the virgin livery so I've got the the virgin um, HST so um, it's quite good um, I've got some of the little transfers as well um, and put them on there so it just makes it look a little, little bit different so I've got the grey and the red so it's a bit right I put some more lights in as well some more coloured signals in just there for the station I've also added another couple more over here where they're going to go into the tunnel see so I had some spare ones so I put a couple more in just there um, that'll be a section later on with that which it'll go go up this way this will all be all this section will be scenery just here um, uh, it mainly feels but I'm going to put a road on with some houses uh, to give it a bit of interest just there um, and that's that's about it what I've been doing like I said I've been quite busy on the station uh, which I do think looks quite good now uh, I'm quite pleased with that a lot of fiddly painting of bits but I got there in the end again I've used the lights but the lights off eBay, they do work, but I haven't wired them all. But they, it is all there ready. Um, I mean, these double ones were, you know, like ten for like ten quid, including delivery, which 
when you look at the gauge master which i think they're more or less based on i think it's the same people that make them and the fraction of the price so worth it like i say it does take a few weeks to get them but you know if you're not in no hurry so i'd rather save the the money i bought what i've got and all the lights everywhere it's probably cost me less than half of what it would have done if i'd have bought them in the uk so um, i'm going to do a bit of a running session so i'll put another video on with running session um, any questions uh, please ask and thank you for watching bye